If you're looking for a simple, challenging, and fun way to train your core, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll guide you through a primal core workout that prioritizes strength, stability, rotation, and balance, all key traits to developing a dynamic and functional core. This one takes just under 20 minutes, no equipment needed, movements will progress through each of the three rounds so you can continue to challenge yourself, and if a certain move is too challenging for you right now, stick to another variation from an earlier round. I'll give you some accessory moves during the rest periods to keep you moving. That covers it, we're ready to go. Take the next 20 seconds to mobilize the wrists as I run you through our first exercise, the grounded tummy vacuum. Get on the ground, knees underneath hips, wrists underneath shoulders. Take a slow and deep breath in through the nose, hold briefly at the top, then open the mouth to slowly exhale like you're fogging up a mirror. Do your best to get all the air out, then take it into the next breath. Let's get started in three, two, one. Allow the entire torso to expand on the inhale, breathing into the sides, back, and front of the rib cage to create stability and pressure. On the exhale, feeling the rib cage compress and the belly button naturally pulling towards the spine. Continue with this pattern, take your time and let it happen. Feel into stability on both the inhale and exhale without forcing yourself into excess tension. As connection builds through the core, gradually apply more pressure into the ground through the hands, knees, and feet. Breathe into this pressure to create more space throughout the torso. Relax for a moment, but get ready to take that connection we just built into the cat march. Set up in the same position, drive through the hands, drive through the feet, and this time, elevate the knees off the ground. Lift opposite hand and foot up and find stability through the two planted limbs. Hold for a moment, then return to cat. Switch sides for a slow and controlled march, stabilizing through the core on the inhale and exhale. Keep the eyes a foot or two in front of the hands to promote more balanced posture and focus on driving through the support limbs to connect through the core. The wobbles and shakes are natural. Just keep marching, keep breathing, and the stability will build over time. Rest, nice work. Take this rest period to go into some wrist rolls. We've got a lot of time on the hands, so come back to this whenever you need it. Next up, we'll be rotating through the cat position with the knee through. Elevate into cat, lift opposite hand and foot, then send the lifted knee under and through to rotate the body. Sink down to kiss the cheek to the ground, then press up and rotate back to cat. Repeat on the other side, focusing on rotation through the shoulders and hips. Exhale on the knee through and inhale on the transition through center. Key detail to feel more fluid in rotation. Ground through the ball and the heel of the planted foot when in the knee through position. Then on the return, elevate the heel and pivot on the ball of the foot. Keep moving for a few more seconds, staying engaged in rotation through the supporting arm and leg. Relax, take a breather, a bit more rest here, so let's flip it over for some easy spinal movement. Sit down with your legs parallel and knees bent. Gently grab the knees and on your next exhale, slowly roll back into spinal flexion. Inhale and slowly roll up into spinal extension. Use the hands to assist with the movement, making it easier to sense the movement through your spine and connect with the breath. Focus on pairing the movement with the breath, exhaling to round through the spine and inhaling to extend through the spine. Finish up with those roll downs. We've got the crab march next, set up with the hands underneath the shoulders, feet underneath the knees with the butt on the ground. 
Press through the hands and feet and elevate into crab. Lift opposite hand and foot off the ground, hold, then ground through crab. Alternate sides, breathing and grounding into stability. I do notice a bit more weight shift in the crab march. It's totally fine. Just continue to ground through the planted limbs and connect through the core. Focus on maintaining slight extension through the spine to open up through the chest and shoulders. This promotes subtle lengthening in the front line of the body and activation in the back line of the body. Round one is in the books. Nice work. Feel free to stand up and move around. I'm going to stay on the ground. We're going to take a bit more rest here, so feel free to join me in strong hands to show the wrists and hands some love. You can do this standing or on the ground. Reach the arms out into a T with stacked posture. Close the hands and squeeze, then open the hands and spread. Feel free to add breath, inhaling on the squeeze and exhaling on the spread. Quick tempo for five seconds, squeeze and spread with intention through the entire body. Relax and shake those hands out. One more round if you want to join me. Reach the hands overhead, keeping the rib cage down and connected into the pelvis. Same thing, squeeze and spread, gradually picking up the tempo, feeling the connection build through the entire torso. Rest, shake it out, and we are ready for round two. We've got the cat dog reaching long through opposite limbs on the inhale and pulling back into cat on the exhale. Set up in cat and elevate the knees to find stability. Inhale, reach one arm overhead while extending the opposite leg back. Hold briefly, finding stability, then exhale and return to cat. Focus on maintaining strong connection through the rib cage and pelvis. This means minimal flaring of the ribs and minimal arching of the lower back. Feel into length, stretching through the core on the reach. On the exhale, feel the natural compression through the breath as everything pulls into the center of your core. Continue to ground through the supporting arm and leg to leverage stability that will support more expansive movement through the reaching limbs. Take a few deep breaths and join me in some grounded cat rocks to open up the hips, knees, and ankles. Drive through the hands and pull back to load the hips. Then rock forward over the wrists. Keep it flowing at your own tempo in whatever range of motion feels good. We're hopping into the tripod under switch next. It's like the knee through, but you'll continue to rotate into a three point crab. Start by hitting a knee through, only this time continue into a tripod crab position. Plant through both feet, find stability, then return back to cat. Exhale on the rotation into crab and inhale on the return. Firmly drive the planted hand through the ground to feel active rotation through the shoulder, and we want to do this in both directions. You'll notice engagement build through the muscles that support the shoulder, and you may even get some lat activation in this movement. Keep it flowing, stabilizing through the torso and mobilizing through the shoulder joint. Continue to breathe and connect. Rest and feel free to join in on these snow angel arm reaches, kneeling or standing with a stable and stacked core. Inhale, laterally reaching the arms out and up overhead. Exhale, sweep the arms back down. Big focus is a connected core that allows you to move through the shoulders with control and freedom. Closing out round two with crab ankle taps, very similar to the march. Personally, I find these more demanding on the core, but a bit easier to execute. Set up in crab and get ready. 
Lift opposite limbs, then tap the lifted hand and ankle to each other. Return to crab and alternate sides. Embrace the natural weight shift from side to side and focus on externally rotating through the lifted leg to bring the ankle to the midline of the body. Find a steady tempo with the movement and breath, continuing to build more connection through the core. Remember, we want that subtle intention of extension while in the crab position. If you notice your shoulders rounding, drive the hands through the ground to create lift through the heart. Relax and move around, either standing up or joining me on the ground for some lateral rocks. Rocking back into the hips, then moving side to side like you are wagging your tail. Last round kicks off with cat dog exploration. Same concept, but this time reaches can be in any direction. Maintain that strong center of the belly button and reach through in whatever direction you choose. Inhale on the reach to create length and expansion, and exhale to pull and compress back into center. Remember, the range of motion through your limbs means nothing if you aren't maintaining a strong sense of center, so continue to stay connected through the rib cage and pelvis. Do your best to smooth out the reaches, connecting them with your breath, and explore different ranges of the reaches. Try 45 degree angle reaches and lateral reaches, then see what comes up from there. Rest, nice work. I know those are challenging. So take a few deep breaths, move around, mobilize the wrists, do what you need to do. We've got the side kick through coming up next. Building off of the knee through, same thing, except this time hover off the ground, then extend through the floating leg into a kick. Lift opposite limbs, hit that knee through, then extend the leg into the side kick through, drawing the lifted arm elbow back to create a nice cross body stretch while remaining connected through your center. Pivot and pass through cat into the other side. Exhale on the kick and inhale on the rotation through cat. Move at your tempo and within your active range. It can be easy to focus on the reaching limbs, but remember where your stability is coming from. Drive through the planted hand and foot to connect the core through all four limbs. Rest, nice work, keep the body moving. I'm hitting some monkey rocks here. A heel elevated squat into a rock forward. A great stretch through the whole lower body also really opens up the feet. Closing out round three with the crab toe grab, stabilizing through opposite limbs while the lifted leg extends and the lifted hand grabs. Set up in crab and get ready. Lift and extend one leg while the opposite hand reaches and grabs the foot. Pass through crab and switch over to the other side. Same details in the crab position. Subtle extension to activate the back line of the body and lengthen the front line of the body. Breathe into stability as you go through the toe grab, allowing a natural weight shift while still firmly driving the supported arm through the ground. Stay in it, keep breathing, Keep driving pressure through the grounded limbs to stabilize, and with that stabilization, finding more freedom in your movement. Rest, we're not quite done, so show those wrists some love for the next 20 seconds. Closing things out with two minutes of crawling, the cat crawl and the crab crawl. 
feel free to incorporate the under switch to alternate between the two types of crawls. All right, we're moving, striding forward with opposite hand and foot. When you want to switch or run out of room, either hit that under switch or reset in the opposite crawl. You can travel backwards, you can travel laterally, you can travel diagonally, whatever feels right for you in these last couple of minutes. The main focus is to stay in it. Tap into that stability and connection and movement that you've built over the last 15 minutes. Breathe and feel into your rhythm. You're either tired or you're about to be. So do your best to endure that fatigue. Reframe that fatigue as building connection in your body. Those feels, the burn, the shakes, all of that is an opportunity to connect. So feel it, breathe into it, embrace it. If you're thinking about how much time is left, I want you to re-engage with the crawl. Be present with the movement. All you have to focus on is your next step. I won't tell you exactly how much time you have left, but I will tell you that you're well over halfway. Keep going, you've got this. Woo, you crushed it, awesome work. Stand up, shake it out, cool down with a five to 10 minute walk. If you've been building your primal practice with us, feel free to take it into some free flow. And if you're new to this and want to progress, the best way to do this is with the Primal 45 program, everything you need to learn this practice. Link in the description below. Thanks for moving with me. If you had a good time, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, drop us a comment, and until next time, stay smooth.